Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kids at Hope pledge. I'm a kid at hope. I trust this smart and capable success. I dream to the future and find the future every day. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Hey all Indians, our story today is I Am Peace. A book of mindfulness. I love this story so much. Yesterday, we read about Sebastian overcoming his challenge with exercise. Our story today offers other ways to find peace when times are tough. Try a couple of the suggestions from the book. What do you notice? What one works best for you? Take a picture of you trying them out. We can't wait to hear of the way you love to find peace. All right, little Indians, and it's time to recognize our students that are doing amazing with remote learning. Starting with Jalen Francis from Miss Rashawn's class, Chloe from Miss Benson's class, Kimberly from Miss Martin's class, Journey from Miss Sims' class, Kaylin from Miss Nesbitt's class, Natalie from Miss Nesbitt's class, and Jaden from Miss Nesbitt's class. Brianna from Ms. Larkin and Shania from Ms. Patterson and Quentin from Mr. Conway. Way to go, little Indians. You're going to get some special mail, a positive principal referral card for your hard work. For today's Mayan book recommendation, I would like to introduce you guys to two characters, Robot and Rico. Robot and Rico are best friends, and Rico got Robot for his birthday after asking his parents for a really long time. These two go on crazy adventures together, including The Big Catch and The Scary Night. If you like kind of silly stories and a robot with every tool you could possibly need, check out Robot and Rico. Hey there, VBE. I am updating you today on the fourth and fifth grade reading challenge. Fourth grade, so far 13 of you have passed AR test this week which means you've earned Cora redoing my hair and you're almost to Cora being able to do blush and foundation. As for my fifth graders, it looks like four more of you have passed AR tests, so I owe you some birthday. Hi, this is Mr. Trumbull with your dad joke of the day. What do cows do on Friday night? What? They go to the movie theater. Mm, that's funny. I just played with the kid joke of the day. What did the hot dog say to? Uh, what did the hot dog say when um he won the race? What? I'm the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Principal and lead learner, Miss Emerson. 
and just your daily reminder, if nobody told you today that they love you, know that I love you every day, always and forever. Make it a great day or not, little Indians, the choice is yours. I hope you make it a great day.